seen artists get blackballed before, but I've never seen a case where someone took complete responsibility for ruining an artist's career and laughed about it, man. And D Savage has definitely made a lot of mistakes in his career, but we're gonna talk about what exactly led up to this and everything in between. But before we do, I'm gonna need y'all to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all run up this video. Check out the merch link in the description at staysafeworld.com, man. We got everything, hoodies, tees, everything you need, man. So let's get into it. In the mid 2010s, D Savage started making a name for himself in the LA hip hop scene. He went to high school with rappers such as Tyler the Creator, and he was just known throughout the Fairfax, Melrose, skates, and rap scene all together, and was definitely building a fan base with himself from tracks such as Sake and I Know, which became viral hits on SoundCloud. People were really fucking with D Savage all over the country, but then there were a lot of choice moves that sort of went wrong that sort of like took his career into, I mean, it's not really like his career is terrible, but he could have been way bigger than he is now. He could have probably been somewhere around Playboy Cardi level. People definitely feel like he's really talented, maybe even like Trippy Red level, but there were a lot of things that happened wrong. One of which was the fact that he was signed to Joey Fats and that deal ended up falling off and then his music fell off for a while. On top of that, he had a much publicized beef with Playboy Cardi that ended it up him dissing fucking Playboy Cardi's baby Onyx. <laughs> he good with Uncle Sad, gang. I gotcha. Y'all know who I'm talking about? Y'all know y'all know about my nephew Onyx? Who? My nephew. Who's your nephew? My nephew. That's my nephew. <laughs> That's my nephew. Yeah. I love him. That big ass baby. Yeah, that little bitch. Huh? You heard me? Don't, bro, don't do that to baby, bro. Give don't, a fuck who it is. It's a baby. Give it's a, a baby, bro. Yo ass from the birds. I don't even know why. But the number one reason why his career got stifled the most is because of DJ Academics, man. This man, AK, even went into detail on how he fucking went and fucking hated on D Savage. It's like, he's been going hard against D Savage for the last goddamn four years now, even further. First, he dropped a video of D Savage, a picture of D Savage kissing a guy. Then he basically said D Savage was a bum. And then a couple days ago, he basically went into detail saying that he got D Savage essentially dropped from his label why the fuck would i squash it with you you an example of the niggas i've gotten the fuck on out of here why the fuck would i ever squash it with you you bum so you could talk about this underground see you still talking about soundcloud you bum ass nigga show me a plaque show me a plaque show me a plaque your labels hit me up about you i stopped it i'm happy about it don't play with me, nigga. I stopped it. And you know what your label had to get right? Because they got 30 artists, nigga, and they want me to fuck with the rest of the 29 of them. You a sacrificial lamb, nigga. I ain't do it because they could have said, fuck act. We going to take all 30 of our artists and go do some other shit. They didn't, nigga. That's why you on, that's why you on this shit talking all that bullshit. I'll give you the same deal I just gave to motherfucking... What's that nigga's name? Lil Zay Osama. Nigga, don't get on this shit and act like rewrite history. Oh, I didn't say nothing about act. He had multiple labels. I think he's referring to the label. Could either be the Joey Fast label or it could be the deal that he had after that. I think it was with 300 Entertainment. But regardless... He went into detail and basically said that the label, he didn't fuck with D Savage personally and he wasn't going to promote any of their artists and he doesn't give a fuck because he doesn't really need to. He has his own independent media source that a lot of people see and he grows a lot of artists in general and gets paid by labels. They essentially, because they realized that they couldn't really promote D Savage with that intense of a black ball from one of the biggest hip hop, if not the biggest hip hop media source that people actually pay 
attention to that's really relevant and always has the news you know like it's just like a lose lose so i guess his label ended up dropping and then basically is at where he is today i'm not sure if he signed but i think he might be independent or some type of joint venture type deal and you could totally see by the amount that he does like shows like he does shows every now and then but mainly his shows are only in the west coast the furthest east i ever really see him going is like arizona he's not really going any further than that and he has a lot of shows in like the west coast mainly california you know but at least he has shows and at least the shows are super packed out i'm actually a big fan of d savage i'm not gonna lie and i fuck with this music heavy and i know several people that fuck with this music heavy so it's kind of unfortunate that the whole masses aren't able to see this but he makes quality music and his shit does blow up like to the point where he has a fan base but it's just not at the level that it could be he could be in the type of situation like earl sweatshirt where he doesn't really want to be like a fucking tyler the creator or a trippy red level like he's comfortable at the level that he is and he just wants to make music that he likes and he gets a deal that he just gets to make music that he fucks with and that's it i think that's pretty much the deal with it ak was basically clowning him for not making hundreds of millions of dollars but i guess he's happy with the hundreds of thousands of dollars you know at the end of the day i feel like you can never be a loser if you're making money off your craft and you're able to live your life how you want to live and not have to worry about a job or any of that shit that's the ultimate goal in this music shit you know that's really like what everyone's trying to go for you can't really do anything more than that i mean like a lot of people do try to like blow up and try to win grammys and shit like that but all that shit is super rigged man and at the end of the day you do realize that you're when you pop off like that you're eventually gonna fall off because people are comparing you to your original self but nowadays with the rise of independent music and releasing music whenever you want to it's not really like a thing like you're always gonna have your own fan base sure you might do shows in certain areas but like that's the type of shit that people don't want to have to go out of their way and do like anyways they, they don't want to go out of their way and do anything that they don't want to do man so at the end of the day i feel like d savage he did what he felt like his career was going in the best direction for it, and he's doing okay but like ak he definitely did try to blackball d savage and once a year he fucking tries to go and hate on d savage like it feels like every single around this time of year anyways he calls him a bum or some shit but you know i feel like he might have blackballed him in the way that he wanted to but at the end of the day d savage probably didn't want that industry life in the first place man he doesn't really seem like that he seems like an underground type of rapper nigga and you know as long as his audience is big on spotify and like those platforms and shit he could end up being like playlisted on a label and getting hella fans that way because his music is good it's not like his music is trash and it's unique man but hey let me know in the comments y'all feel like d savage is blackballed or you feel like academics really did fucking blackball this nigga or you feel like he's making his own waves man let me know real say say shit you already know what's going on man make sure y'all like comment subscribe link in the bio for the merch man peace